107, proceed to magnitude savings. Interrogate another Instateller robbery victim. Hey, who's this? I'm Casey, the new dispatcher. Casey? Anyone ever tell you you got a real sexy voice? All the time, Kuczynski. Hey, how do you know who I am? I read all about you on the bathroom wall. See, male, Caucasian, medium size and build, any distinctive features, sir? Yeah, he had a gun in my ribs. 25 minutes it took you to get here. What kept you, a long line at Mr. Donuts? Excuse me, sir. Let's wrap this up, huh? I can't listen to this talk anymore. You know, Pachinski, I've been covering you for a month, and I'm sick of it. It's only a month? Seems like an eternity. What's it to you, Grandpa? Easy, fella. I lost my head, you know. When you get to be my age, you forget things, like, like whether or not this gun is loaded. Well, there's only one way to find out. This guy's crazy. Come on! Hey. Hey, come on. Don't be afraid. You can trust old Pachinski. Come here, come here, let me see. Here, here, you're hungry. I bet you're hungry, huh? Right, right here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Mm. That's right. Hey, come here, give me a kiss. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's ugly and all alone in the world, huh? I know how that feels. If you insist on bringing that thing along, you can at least bathe it. Oh, you know nothing about bulldogs? That's the way they always smell. Come on, try this one, boy. You wear this, and believe me, no one's going to try to eat out of your bowl. Okay? Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just wait here, and Daddy will be right back. Hey, Pachinski, finally found someone to kiss you? <laughs> hey, Schreiber, don't let the word get around. I wouldn't want anyone to think I've been unfaithful to your wife. May I speak to you alone, sir? What's the trouble, McKay? Actually, sir, I'd like to request a transfer. On what grounds? Partner incompatibility. What is it? Well, it's when you don't get along with your partner, sir. I know what it means. Exactly what is the problem? Irregular work habits, uh, blatant disregard for rules, and he has adopted this, this mongrel he keeps in the back seat. And... Yes? He breaks wind constantly. The dog? Sergeant Pachinski. Hmm. Detective, who caught the North Hill Strangler? Who caught the post office bomber? Pachinski. Don't confuse hygiene with character. There's a lot you can learn from a man like Stanley Pachinski. And I suggest you start your education immediately. Yes, sir. Everybody loves somebody sometime. Everybody falls in love somehow. Now everybody. La 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 la. Pachinski, for God's sakes, this is a stakeout. Yeah. You want to see a picture of my latest? Nice, huh? You get to meet a lot of great broads when you work vice. Lovely. clay has got lots of friends who'd like to meet a guy in line for a pension. Thank you, but I'm sort of seeing someone now. Who? There's this woman, uh, Franny. She's a widow, and she lives in my building with her little girl. So how long have you and the merry widow been going out? No, no, no. We haven't actually gone out yet. I just sort of see you around the building. Hey! You guys want to spike out? 1734. Oh, yeah, I'm a little bit short. Can you spare a few bucks? Yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, kid. Wow! Thanks, Miss... Hey! This isn't what I ordered. What kind of idiot? Look at this garbage. Shrimp and pineapple. What do I look like, some kind of health food nut? I'm starved. I gotta get me another pizza. Casey, patch me through the...
Would you forget the pizza? As distasteful as this may seem to you, we've got a job to do. Look, who died and made you Joe Friday? Uh, all right, you know, I'm Some gratitude. I think it's a man in Clay and Nolan and his own... Hey, now look what you did. Help! Oh, please! Hey, don't be a hero. Hey, Casey. Officer down on the corner of Clark and Diversey. Send help immediately. Repeat, officer down on the corner of Clark and Diversey. Send ambulance and back up immediately. yourself up over this, aren't you? Who said that? Short memory. It's your partner, Puchinski. Ha! Ah! Surprise! <laughs> I've gone over the edge. You're not real. You want proof? My badge number is 309. You've got a card in your wallet that tells you how much to tip. Last Friday you said the sports coat I was wearing looked like the tablecloth in an Italian oh, no. restaurant. What do I got to do to convince you? <clears throat> Everybody loves somebody sometime. Everybody falls in love somehow. Pachinski, how did you become a dog? All I know is I saw this big tunnel and this big shaft of light. And I heard voices at the end of it. Relatives' voices. And they were calling, here boy, here boy, come on, come on. And next thing I knew, I had a tail. This is amazing. You, 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 you're a dog. What's wrong with being a dog? You got stronger teeth. You can take a nap anytime you want. You see a girl you like. You don't have to bother with small talk. What are you going to do now? Well, first I'm going to try licking myself. And then I'm going to catch my killer, and you're going to help. You can forget that. I'm off the case, and you're whatever you are. You're off the case? Captain put me on a desk. A desk? Your partner was murdered, and you sat down? Excuse me! What are you doing? You're going to make yourself sick. Exactly. Spare me the drama, Pachinski. So, McKay, who's heading the investigation? Sergeant Shriver. Shriver, huh? Good man. Oh, Shriver? Shriver couldn't find the stick in a popsicle. That's right. Yeah. All right. Baczynski, I'll talk to the captain. Put her there, pal. Oh. I 
it's great to be back. Hey, what's Pachinsky's mutt doing here? He's with me. Really? I don't see how you can stand to be around a kisser like that. He's a brilliant conversationalist. Oh, well. Hey, do yourself a favor. I know this little restaurant downtown. It pays five bucks a pound. <laughs> I see your aim's improved. Right, do you one for one Wagner in progress? Proceed with caution. Hello, Casey. Would you mind watching this little fella for a few minutes? Isn't that the sweetest? Well, come here. Yes. Oh, what a cutie. Woo, woo, woo. Your little cutie. Oh. Oh. He likes to scratch you. Yes. Yeah. Excuse me, Captain. Good to see you, son. Come on in. Have a seat. Well, the reason I'm here is I'd like to be put back on the Pachinsky homicide. Save it, son. You had a shock. The best thing for you to do is to go home. Take a few days off. Collect your thoughts. No, 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 sir. The best thing I can do is to catch my partner's killer. <laughs> Hi, Franny. Hi, Katie. Mom, look! Uh, careful, he's not very friendly. What's his name? Uh, Stanley Pachinski. That's an excellent name for a dog. <laughs> I didn't know you had a dog. I don't. Sit, stay, heal. No. Who's my partners? Oh, I heard about that. I'm sorry. You don't know the half of it. Uh, you and Stanley are welcome to join us for dinner. I'm really not up to half the company right now. <laughs> well, it's okay. I know what it's like to lose somebody you're close to. Is Stanley going to live with you, Mr. McKay? Uh, we... Uh, 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 actually, I'm disgusting. Bye, Robert. Bye, Stanley Kuczynski. <laughs> What's with you, McKay? The baby asks you out for dinner and you make with the excuses. Do I have my work cut out for me? It's me. I can't even figure out how I keep my balance when I lift my leg. Up, oh, not on the so I was a huckleberry. Uh, again. <laughs> I wish to re This couch is about as comfortable as a slab at the morgue. Excuse me? Unless you're going to charge an enormous stud fee for me, you don't expect me to keep payments on my place, do you? Don't worry, I'll be out of here as soon as we wrap up this case. Stone put me on the investigation. He did not mention anything about working with a bulldog. <sighs> Don't call me that. Why not? Look at yourself. You're a dog. I'm a cop. Need I remind you who caught the North Hill Strangler or the post office bomber? That's when you were making collars, not wearing one. I'm a better cop with four legs than you'll ever be with two. Okay, that's it. If you're such a... Oh, great cop! Hey, and you won't have any trouble finding a new place to live! You'd say the poor helpless animal out on the streets alone? Of course not! Nobody pushes Stan Wojcinski around. I'll show him. Five, please. scratching on the door and there I was. <laughs> <laughs> Bet you're happy Stanley's home. Oh, I thought I'd never see him again. Look, I know this is a little forward, but I just couldn't stand the thought of you sitting here eating peanut butter and Alpo. So we're fixing dinner. Well, thank you, but uh, you, you really shouldn't have. Oh, please, it's no bother whatsoever. Well, uh, it's in the kitchen. Oh, in here. Okay. okay. Pretty smart, don't you? Yeah, looks and brains. 
Please. You know, well, you're just lucky they're here. That's the thanks I get? I'm doing you a favor. I mean, you don't need my nose to pick up the scent that this babe wants you bad. Oh, shut up. Pardon? Oh, I said, uh, is there anything I can do to help? Where do you keep your pots and pans? Let me see, let me see. Let's create a little mood here. Ah. Everybody loves somebody, somehow. Everybody falls in love somehow. Something in your kiss just told what? me. Hey, dummy, not me. My Grab the babe. Why don't you just stick me inside a car and roll up the windows? Find somebody so, what's for dinner? Maybe you should let Stanley out of there. You'll be quiet soon. See? I'll be right back. Okay in here? Fine, just training the dog. Okay. We'll be in here. Right. Pachinski! Pachinski! I'm sorry, I flew off the handle. I should be more sympathetic. Try and understand. I've lost a partner, and now he's back. And and then Franny's here. And look, I've never had a dog before. What's the matter, Pachinski? Look at me. I've become a dog. It's all sinking in now. I mean, I used to have hair on my back, but this is ridiculous. At least you haven't lost your sense of humor. I lost a lot more. My identity, my home, my Claire. Some nights we just go for a walk. Maybe stay home and arm wrestle. Now all these are good for is digging up bones. <sighs> Pachinski, Stan, quit feeling sorry for yourself. You got a lot to be thankful for. Sure, you're a dog, and that's different, but it's life. It's precious life. You you ought to be grateful you were given a second chance. And no matter what happens, you got yourself a roommate. And a friend. Hey, knock it off, will you? You want to do that kind of thing, I'll get you a kitten. Pachinski, you've been here all night, every night for a week. Let's go home. If avenging my death means nothing to you, then run along. Who needs you? You're still upset about that rabies shot, aren't you? Got a man. How do you know? Can't you smell him? Enjoy that.
Tom and Harriet Banks are the lucky winners of this past week. Our man Bob Al Kaiser Hamlet. What do you think you're doing? John it's the ninth race from Arlington. I got some money riding on it. It's my apartment, my TV. We watch what I want. Remember, I'm on Canine Squad. We're partners again. Yeah, yes, but not equal ones. I don't get a vote. Not in this life. And I'm afraid you leave me no choice. Mmm, loafers, my favorite. Hey, hey, drop it. Drop it, drop it. Bad dog, bad dog, bad dog. That's it, Pachinski. When you were alive, you were an utter disgrace to mankind. A lazy, slovenly, ill-mannered whore. Now that you're a dog, the only thing that's improved is your breath. Drop those shoes. Oh, come on, Pachinski. Coming up next, Farrah Fawcett stars in the NBC miniseries based on the true story, Poor Little Rich Girl, The Barbara Hutton Story. And Sunday night, one of Canada's top-rated miniseries comes to NBC, a gripping story of emotional turmoil, love and hate, a marriage made in hell, beginning Sunday night only on NBC.